sleep apnea is a very common condition in which uh, there are pauses in breath while sleeping uh, which are known as the apnea and during this apnea the person who is sleeping is unable to get oxygen as properly as a person who does not have apnea so the oxygen in the blood is reducing and the oxygen going to the brain is also reducing and hence the brain is starved of oxygen and oxygen is the basic nutrition for a person to be alert and alive even in sleep oxygen is required because a lot of metabolism and a lot of hormonal processes immune processes happen during sleep in the brain Sleep apnea is also a risk factor for cognitive decline. In other words, the thinking process, the judgment, the execution, the frontal lobe cognitive functions, the memory. Uh, generally, there is this myth in the Indian system that if you snore and sleep, you have a very good sleep. So they even say ki wo ghode bechke se so raha hai. So uh, people think that if a person is snoring, it's a good sleep. What they do not know that snoring a particular percentage may be benign, but many snorers, especially those who have thick necks, short necks, who are obese, who have mid waist uh, obesity and who are having pauses in breathing whilst uh, sleeping and who are not fresh the next day they have a disease and that's obstructive sleep apnea and that requires immediate diagnosis and treatment uh, undiagnosed and untreated sleep apnea can kill so much so it can kill in sleep many people die in sleep they don't even know why the death has occurred the family is astounded many young deaths young men uh, who are little obese uh, have died in sleep so sleep apnea can kill is very important the second thing is sleep apnea shortens life the third thing is sleep apnea comes with its accompaniments the moment you have sleep apnea you're going to develop memory problems you can develop heart attacks you can develop stroke you can develop all these things so it's not a benign disorder Lifestyle modification is to be done across the board, whether you have mild, moderate or severe. But the moment you have moderate to severe apnea, you need a CPAP machine. Basically, these are pressure devices which can be regulated. The pressure can be regulated depending on the severity. And the pressure is given while the person sleeps and it opens up the airways which are blocked. Now, if you look at the cost of CPAP machine and if you balance the cost of the CPAP machine to the per day cost and balance it with the number of years it's going to prolong your life, which it's going to uh, you know, help you lead a healthy life, the cost comes in pesos per day. Like blood pressure, diabetes, insulin, sleep apnea, CPAP machine is very important to use. उम्र बढ़ती है और क्वालिटी जो है लाइफ की वो इंप्रूव होती है और दिनचर्या में बहुत सारा बदलाव आता है इनोवेशन एंड यू फिलिप्स